What's going on everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo and we are back for another episode review of The Real Black China. This is season uh, one, episode nine, that shrinking feeling part two. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. I also want to remind you guys about Andrea's clothing. Shop Andrea's clothing and use coupon code Auntie Mo. 15 and you will get 15% off of your purchase. Um, the link will be in my description box down below. That is A-U-N-T-I-E-M-O-15 and you get 15% off your full purchase. Um, Y'all, this episode, first of all, I honestly want to apologize to you, baby, for getting this review out late. Uh, first and foremost, my anemia is, ooh, I don't know if it's because mercury is a retrograde or what, but ooh, I'm already severely, well, not severely. My normal level is like around a 10 as it is, but I ha it's my fault. I haven't been taking my vitamins. I haven't been eating my green leafy vegetables. And so your auntie been tired. I had to take a nap just to get a little bit of energy to do this review. You see, you didn't get power to damn near one o'clock in the morning. That's because your auntie had to take a nap, child. I was tired. So when I came home today, I had to take another nap just to make up and, and have a little bit of energy so I can bring you guys a real black China review. But um, y'all, let's just get into this review. I hope y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all, so we are at part three, basically you would say, of the whole therapy session with China and Tonio. Tokyo Tony, but y'all already know Auntie call it Tonio, right? So first it was China, then it was Tonio. Now it's China and Tonio coming together. Now, if any of y'all have watched this show, this particular episode, you already know. At least for me, it was so uncomfortable to watch this. Normally I try to crack jokes and be all, you know, jovial with it and all of that, but there was nothing to crack any jokes on this episode. It was it was sad to watch. I don't feel like this is something that should have been on TV being discussed. I feel like this is something that they should have tried to handle in the privacy of their own home because with it with the cameras being there, I feel like China was putting on a lot more because you already know she's black China 24 seven. So I don't feel like she was being, well, if this is her true, genuine, authentic self, well, damn girl, you get it from your mama. So the therapist is sitting down with Tonio and China, right? Now, I don't know if maybe they just went in the back and changed clothes, spruced up the makeup a little bit, and then came back out and continued on with the counseling session. If this was a completely different day, they were still holding on to the same energy from the day before. Because you could already see on China face, she was irritated from Jump Street. Coming in and sitting down, she was irritated. The therapist, Dr. Siri is his name, he opened up with the whole, um, let's talk about hurt. Who wants to go first? Um, Mom, do you want to go first? China, do you want to go first? Let's just, he was just basically like, let's get it out on the table. What is it that the other person does that just irks your spirit that, you know, that just causes you to act the way that you do? Do y'all just go back and forth? Y'all, ooh, ooh, oh my God. I will give it to Tonio, okay? Cause she was definitely trying. She was definitely trying to open up. She was definitely trying to be receptive in the beginning before anybody comes in my comments and say, no, she wasn't cause she was going north. Da, 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 da. You can't lie though. Whether it was fake or whether it was real, Tonio was definitely trying to be open and to humble herself to her a little bit and allow her to just speak and say what she was feeling at first, even though she was trying to jump in and chime in every time she was trying to say something, right? Now, as Tonio is, because Tonio was the one that expressed, you know, who started first, she was just like, now just let y'all know, I'm not going scene through scene with this, none of that. I'm just going to highlight some things and we're going to be out because... Baby, we oui, we oui. no, no. It was just too much going on in this whole dog on episode. So Tonio started, her whole thing was, I feel hurt that you feel like you can't trust me. And you, you, you know, you talk bad about me or you say that I wasn't there for you or you say I didn't do this for you. This whole time that Tonio was talking, China just sitting there like this. 
Tony kept saying how much she missed Angela, how she missed her time with Angela, how she missed the old Angie. Well, Tony, oh, you're not dealing with Angie. You're dealing with China, and China is on 24-7. And I think the only way you're going to get to deal with Angie, you got to turn China off. Girl, it was, it was just very, again, it was uncomfortable to watch. I didn't even watch it fully through. The first time when it came on last night, I had to watch the rest of it on my lunch break today just because it was so irritating to watch. I felt like China was being very disrespectful. I felt like she was being passive aggressive and rude, not only to her mother, but to the therapist as well. Like, and at the same time, let's kind of get on the therapist for a minute. Y'all call a spade a spade. He is not the therapist that they need. No, ma'am. No, they need a for real Either an old black woman or an old white woman. Because this celebrity therapy that they're doing, they need something a little bit more t intense than that. Because Tony got her own issues and China got her own issues as well. And even still, I feel like y'all can't come together and solve the issues that y'all have together until you work on yourselves. Because they both are messed up. And I hate to say that about my sisters and my queens, but... Damn, Really, y'all, I just spilled wine all on myself. Damn, for real. At one point, China kept asking Tonio, what do you want to do? And it's the way that she was asking that Tonio really didn't understand what she was asking. Because I didn't understand either. I mean, eventually, after a while, I get what she was trying to say. She was like, so... I asked her, what does she want to do? And Tony was like, well, what do you mean? What do I want to do? Well, do you, what do you want to do with it? It was just, it was so hard to understand. What I feel like China was trying to ask her was, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your career? You say you got a CDL. You say you want to drive dump trucks. Do you want your own business? Do you want to go back to school to be a truck driver? Like, what do you want to do? But the way that China was asking, and then Tonio, you can see she started to get her little defense up. She wasn't really receptive to the way she was asking either. But again, I do commend Tonio for trying because she was trying. Can't nobody knock the fact that there was a part of Tonio that was humble enough and that she was trying to at least at least see things from from her perspective even though again she had a rebuttal to everything she said in the beginning she was a bit open to at least try to work something out but again china with this wall up i mean she had that wall up from jump when she was doing her own individual counseling with dr sarah she had that wall up so i don't know what the hell made him think if you couldn't tell that bitch down with her child Y'all, this next part was so irritating and so uncomfortable. There was the part that Tonio asked for a hug from China. Now, hopefully if I have the clip, I'm going to insert it right here. Well, what would you like somewhere? your mom to understand right now? That so you her. can go for I'm here for you. Give me a hug. A whole one. My, my, how did you know? A whole one. I can't move. Okay. I can need to lean forward. What about this arm? Can't yeah. move it? I'm literally, no, I'm, I can't. Yes, move. you can. I'm going to pop out. <laughs> no, you're not. Your titties is good. Stretch it. Stretch it. Stretch it. Stretch it. So she's asking this girl for a hug. Even though I feel like Tonio was kind of being petty deep down when she asked for it, but china was petty on the surface baby she did not want to hug her claiming that it was her outfit then she started to be pissed off about well whoever bought me this outfit is super skimp and if y'all watch ashton levi her assistant he has his own youtube channel he was he said he's the one that got that outfit and a uh, bitch you wasn't complaining about it before but now you got something to say because you've been put on the spot girl whatever so She's telling Tonio she can't hug her because the outfit too short. So she finally, as you can see, she gets up and gives her this petty ass hug. Like it was so uncomfortable, y'all. It was so uncomfortable to watch. China just started to have this whatever, I'm over it type attitude. And for me, for me, that's when I kind of started checking out. It's like, girl. 
You steady going back and forth. You're not making no sense what you say. Your mama don't get you. I don't get you. Suri don't get you. I don't even think you get you. So it was just hard. It was hard, y'all. It was hard. It was hard. Finally, when China started to open up, okay, I was proud of her. I was proud of China because I could see it's a little something, something in there that wants to come out and wants to really try to talk this thing out and get some help. Because she was telling Tonio, you know, there was a point in time that I felt like you weren't there. I felt like we weren't stable. I felt like you put other things and men before me. I felt like I was living pillar to post. Like, you know, I never had anything stable. Now, that's when the script started to flip and Tonyo then started to get defensive. She was like, oh no, wait, hold on, it wasn't like that. And the therapist was trying to tell her like, look here now, shut up, this girl is finally starting to make some leeway. Shut up and let's just let her get out what she's trying to say. Here go Tonyo. Now go ahead, cause you done brought it up and we finna get it in. Go, go, like it was y'all. It was so, it was, it was just too much, it was too, Damn merch. Then y'all started to get super petty. Tony O brought up some chick named Chocolate that I guess China was talking crap to Chocolate about Tony O. It was, girl, it was, it just got silly. Then Tony O started calling China bipolar. China got pissed and she got up and she left. And y'all, the, the therapist was over it. Dr. Siri was over it. I was so glad that the episode was ending there because, again, it was just too merch i don't like watching all that that drama and that back and forth if nothing is going to be resolved from it hopefully we get to see maybe them come out of this and maybe them you know they do get to some kind of because obviously right now they're on good terms you see every chance tony o gets she posts in a video with her and the kids so they're on good terms now hopefully we get to see when they come out of this that they're in right now as it pertains to the show when we get to see them you know come to their happy place where they are right now the next episode is supposed to be about her and treasure um i'm anxious to see that because i know a lot of people are not team treasure this is my thing i'm definitely not team china and i don't see i don't i just don't see why everybody hates treasure so much i mean if you can specifically let me know what clout chasing moment she had i mean make me understand now i'm not saying that she ain't done nothing wrong because i don't know ain't none of us been there in the house with them to know what was going on but help me to understand why is it that people hate treasure so much because i don't hate the girl i don't that's just my opinion and i'm ready for the comments because i know somebody gonna have something to say let's go but either way i hope y'all enjoyed the review um if there's anything from this episode that i missed please comment down below and let me know don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and auntie will see y'all in the next video peace out what's up y'all do me a favor and share the video please make sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and um hit that notification button so you will be up to date when i upload my latest videos i have